Hello friends. Today we will see the solution of uh, assignment number one, physics, second PUC. Uh, from last many days, many students are saying, asking for the solution. But I was not getting time. Even Sunday also I am busy because uh, before lockdown, it sometimes happens we have to finish the syllabus. So <laughs> in online, it's very difficult to finish. So we want to finish offline. So on Sunday also we are working. So I am not getting time. But uh, today I will try uh, to answer these questions briefly so that uh, it will help you uh, to submit in, in your college. Actually this assignment is not much difficult because there are, they have given four questions and only one we have to solve. Okay. So let us come to the first. Discuss one law of physics studied and its application in daily life. See lot many laws we have studied. Any law you consider. For example, so law is the velocity of a freely falling body is equal to v square is equal to 2gh that we have learned okay in projectile motion also and in many cases uh, in gravitation also so it is what we can write v is equal to under root 2gh so it depends upon h more is the height velocity will be more so how i, I will apply uh, in our daily life what i do when i do saving so to remove the hairs in the saving and foam in the save is that saving uh, near, um, eraser what i do i put on the uh, below the tap but not at the ground level okay if i will i will try to wash at near to the tap okay so it will not clean e clean it easily but what i do i put on the bottom so that height of the the tap water will increase and i can i can clean this uh, very nicely okay so there force will be more velocity will be more so it will remove the hairs easily okay so this is one example hmm? so like this you can any law and you can uh, write the use of it okay otherwise this you can use another thing is what another example you can give um, the heat flows from high temperature level to the low temperature level okay so if you want to cool your tea what do you do hmm? you keep it under uh, uh, in open atmosphere okay so automatically the vapors will go in the atmosphere why because the temperature of the tea is high and atmospheric temperature is low so heat will and matter will flow there and uh, your tea will become cold then you can eat otherwise force convention also you can use hmm? so you can start your fan so the heat from that can be uh, removed from the tea Okay, so this application you can write. So like this, you can choose any law and you can write uh, uh, its application, right? Now let's take question number four. When one applies Kirchhoff's loop rule, the algebraic sum of the practical uh, potential drop across the cell and re register is zero. Why? Okay, why it is zero? Because what happens in a loop? We are starting from one point. We are measuring the potential across all the devices and we are coming to the same point. Means what? In a loop, charge moves in a closed path. So displacement covered is what? Zero. Because start and initial point is same. We are starting from a particular point. We are moving throughout the uh, devices in, this, uh, in the loop and we are coming to the same point. Displacement zero. So work is zero. And potential is what? Basically, work into charge. Potential is work into charge, work becomes zero, so potential becomes zero. That is why potential drop across a loop is zero. This is your Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's loop rule, yes or no? So that is the reason uh, the potential is uh, zero. Practical application you can write, it is used in many LEDs, okay, uh, in ICs, uh, any. Uh, uh, motherboards of these uh, laptops and computers okay so there this law is very much applicable okay that practical application you can write okay so in this way you can write the answer for two questions first and fourth now for question number two and three look mention any one favorite physicist and his her contribution to the physics physicist means a scientist who is uh, we have given some laws in physics so you can choose any one scientist, open the Google Chrome and uh, 
write the name of the scientist for example i will write michael faraday uh, he have given the law of electromagnetics in chapter number 6 second pc uh, you have that law so you will get the information in wikipedia click on that wikipedia okay so you will get the information about the scientist hmm? his date of birth his cont his contribution his photo everything you will get hmm? and uh, you just go on reading uh, there you will find lot many things about about him or her any scientist you select uh, foreign scientist you select first for second question and uh, for third question you have to choose indian scientist so here we have information about early life personal life hmm? so everything is there two three lines you have to select hmm? two three lines uh, about his personal life about his education, about his career hmm? and uh, we have to write some li more lines on his contribution to the physics. Hmm? What, he, what law he have given, hmm? uh, where it is applicable uh, and uh, you can write about uh, importance of the law, everything is there. So you just read it and 10-15 uh, lines you can write, uh, this much data is available here. Okay. So 10 15 lines you can easily write on that scientist. Write this. No problem. Hmm? Lot many things are there based on that scientist. Hmm? So like this, you can select any Indian scientist also like that. For example, let us take uh, our uh, C V Raman. Hmm? Raman effect is there, no? Why sky is blue? That is given by what? Given by the scientist Raman. Okay. So so you you can write information on cv raman so this is our indian scientist he is from karnataka he is born in karnataka so so this information is available uh, in wikipedia in google chrome you have to type the name you will get the information everything is there so write some lines on his life write some lines about his personal life about his education career early life uh, everything is there and then his scientific contribution hmm? career lot many things are available so 10 to 15 lines you can write on his life his contribution right important thing is about this scientist is what uh, <laughs> he have given he he is our indian scientist who have got first nobel prize okay in physics in 1930 somewhere okay so very interesting just you go on reading go on reading for your that will motivate you also okay so that will help you to focus on physics you will get in uh, more what you can say uh, <coughs> motivation so this is a, a raman effect uh, and uh, some lines that this, this this you should not draw that but you can read it go through it hmm? he was interested in musical instrument basically but he worked on uh, this area uh, blue color why he why the sea how blue color and uh, very interesting, interesting story, just you read it, okay, and some lines you can write. Hmm? So everything is there on internet, so try it and submit the assignment. So like this, four questions you can submit or any one answer you can write as per your conveniency. So I may have been, I'm, as I was not having much time, so I could not create the video properly, but I have tried, this will help you, okay. Thank you, be in touch, hmm? but uh, under whatever requirements you send it, message me uh, in the comment box, so I will my, try my level best to help you in all respect. Thank you, thank you very much.